Hey y'all, it's Whitney with WhitneyJDecor.com and today I'm sharing some updates from my laundry room guest bathroom project that I'm doing for the one room challenge. So far I have scraped the ceiling, painted it black, and removed my baseboards and that took forever. I'm wearing week three right now so next week hopefully I'll be able to move forward with either getting the floors installed or doing the wall stencil. So right now you're going to see a before picture of the laundry room. You're going to see um, the design plan for the laundry room. If you want to see more about that, just click the link in my description box. It'll bring you to week three's blog post. And then after that, you'll see what the laundry room guest bathroom looks like right now. All right, so I'm looking for the toilet that my mom used in her bathroom when we um, did her room, her bathroom. I think this is it right here. And it's, it's a pretty cheap toilet, but it works really well. And it had a high seat and definitely did not want a round bowl. So I think this is the one. Plus it's dual flush, which is, which I really, which is what I really wanted. And um, I didn't want to get an expensive toilet because this room, I mean, honestly, it's not going to be used a lot as far as <laughs> the toilet. Sounds weird to say that, but yeah. So this is it. It's $99 and I'm about to go and get it. Let me find somebody that can help me get it off of the shelf though. It is heavy. So the problem I have when removing these baseboards in order to put the floors down, and I'm also changing the baseboards to four inch baseboards. The problem is that this floor here is like, um, I think it's like an epoxy with some kind of little paper pieces put inside of it, uh, stirred in the epoxy and then poured onto the floor. So what that means is they actually put the baseboards down and then they poured the floor. So the, all the baseboards are stuck down into the epoxy or whatever you call the stuff that they use to, you know, pour down here. And so it's going to be, it's a huge hassle to get these baseboards off. So this is going to take me a while, but it has to be done in order to get the floors down. Here is a little peek at my beautiful vanity. Um, it's really pretty. It's from the Scott living collection at Lowe's. Um, it's so pretty, I just love it. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more traditional than I would usually choose, but I feel like it fits more with the style of our house. Not necessarily like the decorating style that I'm into, but I think it would be perfect um, just as far as staying with the style of the house. So check this out. Um, so initially I was planning on coming in here and scraping down the ceiling, um, sanding it down to prime it, and I wanted to get it as flat as possible. But then I started using my little spatula here, and I'm just scraping like a, like a minimal, just kind of like knocking it down just a little bit to keep it with a little texture. Um, and I'm gonna leave it like this. So once I finish scraping it all down um, to this kind of texture, it still has a little bit of a raised, um, a raised texture, but not as much as, you know, this. Um, you can see the difference here. So once I finish doing that, I'm gonna prime it and then uh, paint it. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, this is what it looks like now. I am so excited to finally get some kind of different look in here. You can see I still need to do a couple more coats of white. Um, the green is kind of peeking through there. And then look at the ceilings. Oh, it looks so good black. I'm so happy with this. Um, I did knock down the texture. It was the popcorn texture, and I knocked it down with a spatula. It was so easy to do. Maybe it took me 30 minutes max. Um, I talk a little bit more about that on the blog. 
where you'll find a description or a link in the description box. And here is the stencil that I'm using. It's by Royal Design Studio Stencils. Um, you can find them on Etsy. I'll link to their shop as well. But this is so cute. I love it. I can't wait to put it on the walls. Um, I did do a stencil design. If you if this is your first time following me or um, seeing any of my videos, I did a stencil project before um, on my entryway walls. You can see that on my blog, and I'll actually link to it in the description box. And I had intentions on using this Martha Living metallic paint, but I don't have enough and I can't find it, so I'm gonna try um, a different gold paint. I don't want it to be as saturated here. Like it'll be, I'm hoping it'll be a little more subtle in pattern because I don't want it to be like, bam, all in your face. Um, I love the Art Deco style, but I just don't want it to be so prominent on the wall. So we'll see how it turns out. You know, it's beautiful. It'll be beautiful anyway, either way, but that's just kind of what I prefer, something a little more subtle. So um, yeah, like I said, in the blog post, I'll either be doing the stencil this week or next week, or the floors uh, will get done. And then once the floors get done, we can put the vanity in, which you just saw. The problem with that though is my lower drawer, the third drawer, it bumps, it will bump against the, the lines here. So I have to get that fixed. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, that's all I have for today, y'all. Can't wait to show you more next week. And make sure if you're not subscribed that you subscribe and that you like the video and then you tell me what you think so far. See y'all later. Bye.